Welcome to What's That All About? Where we answer big questions about God and the Bible and more in a fun, exciting way. Each week we'll take a different topic and we'll talk about it and we'll learn all the different things about that one topic. So, let's get started. This week's topic is like the easiest thing for Christians to talk about. It's all about the Bible. Now, you've probably seen a Bible and probably held one too, but what's in it? What's it for? Why do we always use it and why is it so important? Well, we're going to talk about all of those different things today. You see, the Bible is God's word and it is good for all of us to read and understand what is in it, but it's also a big book full of lots of words. So here's the gist. The Bible is all about God's story. God's story starts with the creation of the world. God created animals and people and all living things inside the earth. And the earth was quickly overtaken by the power of sin. So God sent Jesus to die on the cross and rescue us from that sin. And now, because of that, we get to live in community with other people and with God for the rest of eternity. That's the basics of God's story. But why does it take 10,000, 1,100,000 pages to tell that story? Why is the Bible so long? Well, the short answer is to that is because it's full of a lot of stuff. You see, the Bible is made up of 66 different books that all come together to form one Bible. The books are divided between the Old and the New Testament. And each of those sections are divided into four other different categories. So you see, there's a lot in there. It's not just one simple story. It's a lot of stories that work together. So let's take a look at what we find in the Old Testament. The Old Testament is made up of 39 of the 66 books, and it's divided into four different categories. The first category is the law. This is where we get the creation of the world and of man, and God tells his people how he wants us to live. He does this through giving us the Ten Commandments and even more instruction later on. Next, we get to the history section. This is the section all about how kings ruled Israel and all the decisions that made they made to end them up back in slavery. Next, we have the wisdom section. This is a collection of books that were poems or songs written by powerful people during good times and bad. Lastly, we have the prophets. The prophets were people who spoke to the nation of Israel during times of trouble, talking about the good that would come. Most prophets prophesied about Jesus and when he would come. And that leads us to the New Testament. The New Testament is made up of 27 books, and those books are divided into their four sections. First, we have the Gospels. This is where we get the story of Jesus, him coming to earth, dying on the cross, and raising again in order to save all of humanity. Next, we get the history of the early church. This is where we took a few people who followed after Jesus, and they spread the word to everyone that they came in contact with, expanding us from a small group of people to the whole church. One of those people was Paul, and Paul spread the gospel by writing letters. He wrote different letters to churches, and we can find lots of those in the Bible. Lastly, we have a prophecy section. This talks about what it's going to be like when God returns one day and how we are going to live with him in eternity forever. Wow, that's a lot of different things all crammed into one book. So why is it all in there? Well, you see, the story of God and the Bible kind of work like a puzzle. Each story, each character, and each section plays its own role in the whole overarching story about God and his plan to save the world from sin and death and be able to live in community with him. You see, we have creation, and the creation leads to the law. The law leads to the stories about the kings and about slavery and during those times is when we get the poetry from the wisdom chapters and out of that comes the prophets telling about Jesus then we have the story of Jesus and him dying on the cross and raising from the dead that leads for the church to grow and expand into a full-blown church instead of just a few people which inspires Paul to write letters to those churches and helping them lastly we get the revelation the prophecy of what it'll be like for god to come back again 
when all of these are worked together and they're all combined into one book and we put one cover on one side and one cover on the other, we get what we call the Holy Bible. Filled with stories and books and sections and chapters, but all of it is about how God wants to spend the rest of our days with him and how his plan and about his plan from the beginning of time to stay to save the world. Stay tuned for more because there's more exciting questions we have to answer. Bye.